Hey guys, back at it again, Funky Factory here, and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of something different. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Clone Hero. Which if you guys haven't heard of Clone Hero, it's like Guitar Hero for the computer. And Rock Band, I guess. It allows you to connect your Guitar Hero guitar, Guitar Hero Live guitar, and the drums to it. And you can play custom songs, all the songs that came with Guitar Hero and Rock Band. And you could customize it to make it look like your own way and personalize it and stuff like that. Really cool community. Everybody is awesome on this community, and you there's multiple websites where you can get uh, songs and stuff like that, and just download as whatever you want to hear or play, should I say? But yeah, let's get into this. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the CloneHero.net website. You can Google it as well. Uh, if you just Google Clone Hero, it should be the first thing that pops up. But I'll have all the links in the description for you guys. So first thing you do is gonna download. Once you download it, you're just gonna install it. Go through the install process, which I've already done. And it should just give you Clone Hero automatically. So you're gonna open it up. It takes you straight to Clone Hero. I already have everything installed and everything, the songs and backgrounds and all that stuff, but I'll go over it with you guys. And I'll have the links, like I said, in the description. Um, unfortunately, my Guitar Hero Live dongle decided to take a poop right as soon as I was about to record this. So I'm going to have to use the keyboard to show you guys, and I'm going to have to order another dongle or just another guitar. But yeah, alright, so whenever you start up Clone Hero, it's going to gonna hit start, or enter in this case. And then A is going to be the green button for now if you're using the keyboard just to get it set up. You can create a profile, you're going to create a profile. Put, it's just going to ask you for your name to go ahead and put your name. Go to uh, select my profile. So quick play is where you're going to go. This is where you're going to have all your songs. So right now I have, I think, I want to say 1,346 songs, which is quite a bit. I'll show you guys where to download them from. And verses, I'm not sure how that works yet. I have not tried it on a stage. I've been playing at home or local, should I say, with friends and stuff. But to go to the settings, this is what main thing you're going to want to know. General, this is where you're going to have all your main uh, basic settings. Just uh, about gameplay, online, uh, just basic stuff. Audio is just where your main audio stuff. Video, just can set up your graphic settings there. Gameplay, this is going to be the main, main uh, thing you need to, or main window you're going to go to. This is going to let you control everything. And no fail, you can enable this, like if you have Doom beginners or friends that you think they could benefit from not failing the song and having to start over and over again. Share lyrics in the background, you can do that. Um, some of the songs will come with like the lyrics and stuff. And then right here, background image. So custom content, this is going to be your background, custom highway, custom stuff like that. Uh, General, I think this is going to be, so back to general, this is going to be where he's going to scan the songs. You can manage song paths, so you can add another extra folder here if you want to. You could just go right here, add folder, and you create your own custom folder where you want to like place it um, wherever you want to place it on your computer, and you can just add the songs onto there. But we're not going to do that, we're just going to stick to the default. Once you add the songs in there, you're going to hit scan songs, which we're going to go back out of this. So to download the songs, uh, you're just going to go to this, either this website, I'll have it in the link in the description, like I said, and this is going to have all the Guitar Hero games songs. They should all be in here, Guitar Hero Ultra, I think everything should be on there. And then Rock Band is going to be here. And then you can get custom highways and backgrounds. I haven't tried those ones, but yeah, they're there. So if you want to download a pack. Uh, I guess I'll scroll down. Yeah, so they're gonna have all these different songs, anti-hero, community packs, all the Guitar Hero games, and then just custom stuff that they have been supplying and stuff like that. So, for example, we'll go to, let's say, Guitar Hero World Tour. Gonna go ahead and go to the website. Gonna go ahead and download. Download any. Oh, that file is way too big. 
please i'll show you guys the other website you can download it from which is going to be this one custom song central this is a really cool website you can every month uh i don't know who runs this website to be honest i think they remain anonymous just every month though they release new songs it, it's like different uh packs uh like this one's for example 12 days ago you can click on it it'll say june 23 and it'll tell you a brief description of what kind of genre it is anything but metal and you scroll down it's going to have all the songs that are on there right here song list and this is going to be all the songs that are on here and to download this one you're just going to scroll down hit download it's going to give you the pack right here once it downloads okay so finally finished downloading uh, you're gonna go right here as long as you have winrar and stuff or i think sevens if you should be able to extract it you're just gonna extract to the same name where it says the csc is the same thing so again extract to it's gonna be like that so it creates its own folder once you have this little folder the clone hero um uh default song folder file or whatever <laughs> the clone hero default song folder it's going to be in your documents. You're just going to go documents, clone hero, songs, and you're going to go ahead and paste it there. And once you do that, single for additions folder. Okay. I'm not sure why it's saying that. All right. So it copied in there. I'm not sure what the heck that was. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're going to go in there, songs that I put all my songs on a custom folder just because I wanted everything more organized or just on a separate uh, folder or drive should I say but yeah once you have it in there you're gonna go like you should be good to go you're gonna go back to oops go back to the game you're gonna hit go back to settings general scan songs hit yes it's gonna find all the songs that you have in there once you do that, you should be good to go. All the songs that you added on there will pop up on here. And you could sort it by artist. You could sort it by song name, artist, whatever you want to do. Just go through the settings that are there. Um, back to this. So after that's the way to add the songs in. You just do that one by one. Go through as many of these as you want. There's 22 pages. Or like I said, you could download them from here. They're a little bit bigger file sizes, but you just do the same thing. Download, extract, add to the songs folder, scan songs, and you should be good to go. As far as the background page, oh, as the custom, the custom stuff, so the highways and background. So that way you're not, because whenever you first install Clone Hero, it's just going to, when you start up a song, it's going to be nothing but black. And all you're going to have is the highway and there's nothing there. But you're going to go to uh, Clone Hero Backgrounds, see right here, this website, fullcombo.net, not sure how I found it, I just found it googling, but I'll put it in the description for you guys. And this is going to have packs, or you could download one by one. Some of them are like, I guess, videos where they move and stuff. You could just download the pack once you get the pack. So these are the video files, I guess. These are the background files. Once you download that, you're just going to extract it as well. I'm going to go back to the Clone Hero. Uh, which one was it? Right here, Clone Hero. You're going to go to Custom. You could do, if it's a video file, you're going to go to Video Backgrounds and you're just going to drop them here. It doesn't matter if it's in a big folder like this, it'll still recognize it. And the Image Backgrounds, you can add it there. Video Highways, you can add it there. And then just Normal Highways right there. Uh, just the main thing you can do is the video backgrounds. Once you add them in there, you're going to go back to the game. You can do the same thing. Go to settings, video. Uh, I think it should. Oops, it's going to be in the gameplay. And you're just going to do here background video. You're going to select, you can select uh, one by one. Or whatever you want to come up but if you have multiple video files in there or different files in there i just hit random and each time you start up a song it's going to be a different background which i can show you now 
Take this, we'll go to the just I guess first song. Lead guitar, medium, ready, ready. And yeah. So it'll look like that. So you see how the background folder is moving. Or see how the background is moving, like it has little like cool little like I guess motion to it. So that's gonna be in each time you start a song. Each time you start a song, it's gonna be a different background. Just like that. And then as far as installing the Guitar Hero guitar... Sorry, well as far as backgrounds, I think that should be it. Um, you can find multiple different websites if you try to Google it. I, this is just the main ones I found that were quick and easy from this website. Um, but like I said, they have more on here. Custom highways and backgrounds you could download from these files and just add it to that same folder. To the custom folder on the Clone Hero. Just everything you need to add will be right here. Same as the songs. Um, go ahead and delete this because I think I may have my stuff in the different folder. But yeah, you should be good to go after that. As far as connecting the guitar, if you have the guitar or light guitar, which is I had, my freaking dongle just took a poop. Like I said, but if you have this specific Guitar Hero guitar, the Guitar Hero Live, um, you're just gonna plug in the USB. It's gonna come up as a different file or a different drive uh, device. It's gonna say USB input device or USB receiver or something like that. You're gonna go ahead and hit, you're gonna right click it. It should come up under the human interface devices or it should have a little the question mark on it because it's not recognizing it completely. So you're gonna go to update driver browse computer drivers let me pick from available drivers on my list right here it should uh, pop up with xbox 360 controller you're just gonna select that next install it next once that installs then you can hit the the little button on here on the dongle that per, uh, puts it into syncing mode and then you just power on the guitar and you're good to go as far as the PlayStation 2 controllers, you have one of those, you just have to buy the USB to PlayStation 2 adapter. As If you have the just the regular Xbox 360 USB, that just plugs in, you're good to go. Same as the PlayStation 3. And if you have a wireless Xbox 360 controller, you just have to buy the wireless Xbox, I believe, 360 wireless, wireless receiver or PC. And yeah, you just have to buy one of these. Uh, I'm not sure what brand you prefer. I'll just look at the reviews and see what's what's good. Like this one, 15 bucks, not bad. You can just buy that from eBay, connect it, and then it should let you sync your Xbox 360 wireless uh, guitar to it, and then you should be good to go. And yeah, I think that's everything that you need to know. It wasn't really much because when I was looking at review, uh, other tutorials on how to do that, it didn't show, teach you how to do everything, but yeah that should be everything you need to know and yeah just download as many songs as you want download as many songs as you can and enjoy it and bring your friends over and play hopefully you guys liked the video or at least it was helpful if you did like it please like and subscribe it really helps me out and check out my other gaming videos that i post if you guys are interested in that but yeah catch you guys later hopefully it was helpful Bye bye